hi welcome back to my channel I just decided that I need to get this basket put together for my sister-in-law so I thought that I would go ahead and have you join me for that so all the items I have hauled in my hauls um, leading up to now and I've collected them over the course of several different hauls but I have them all out here in front of me I have my basket my tissue paper and I'm gonna go ahead and get started this will probably be to music because I don't think you need to listen to everything, but I might pop in now and then and talk about something. We will see because this is a new style for me. So let's get started on this. starting with quite a bit of tissue paper in the bottom because I have a deep basket and I don't want it all to get dropped down to the bottom. Some of the items are pretty heavy and so I want this to be able to hold them up. So that's why I'm doing so much in the bottom. So now when I do my gift baskets I want to do the tall things in the back so I got both of these I got this one the hello my name is such a great way to let the world know that the baby has been born and then I got her the one that will show the growth of the baby she's been doing it with her belly which is adorable and so this way she can do it with the baby too and talk about you know how big the baby keeps getting so I'm going to do these in the background of the basket finished basket I did pop some tape in some spots to keep things up higher I can already see the tissue paper settling which is why I wanted to put so much in it you could just pop some pieces of tape here and there and then that'll keep the things where you want them I added a chalk writer to this because both of these are you know chalkboards but I don't think it's a big piece of the gift so I just taped it to the back of the chalkboards and the color scheme ended up being really the black white and pink with some gray and some other little colors here and there but I feel like this is a great way to celebrate a new mom she can use this through the rest of her pregnancy she is due in October so she can use what she wants to use to relax you know while she's finishing up growing the baby and then use the rest throughout you know having a brand new baby so that's this basket I do have the two more to make because I have baby daisies and I have the Toy Story one for Eli, the big brother. Hi guys, I'm here with all the stuff that I have picked up to make baby daisies basket. I initially started with this one, but with all the stuff that I got, I grew out of it. And so I'm going to use this one actually to hold some wipes and diapers and just do this one as kind of a wipes and diapers basket. And so, I mean, basically just like this, like they fit in there just right. I got the diapers at Walmart, the, the wipes at Dollar Tree, the basket at Dollar Tree. So that's what this one is going to be, is basically this. If I have a chance, I'm gonna get on my Cricut and I'm gonna Cricut wipes and diapers on the basket to show that that's kind of what my thoughts are for this, but there's no guarantees that that's gonna happen. So that's gonna be this one. And then let me go ahead and show you. I picked this up 
at King Supers, which is Kroger under the Kroger umbrella. It was like $12.99. It's got the little baby coffee, some macaroons, and a little napkin for a baby to play with. And I absolutely fell in love with it. So I got this for a little toy for her. And so that's going to be the center point probably of my gift. I'm not guaranteed that it's going to fit in the basket. So you will probably watch me play around with that a little bit. Because if it doesn't, it's just going to sit to the side along with it. And then I also, while I was there, I found this teether. It is like a pretzel with a napkin. And I fell in love. So it's for three months plus this one is for three months plus and so she will be awesome you know little pumpkin spice loving baby with loving the pretzels from the get-go so i did grab these to add into the gift like i said we'll see if it fits into the gift basket or not and these aren't the dollar tree items they're the things i picked up extra to add in so let me go ahead and get started on putting together this basket and thank you for being here I layered a whole bunch of tissue paper in this one it is a deep basket I don't want everything just falling all the way to the bottom and not being able to be seen and so because some of the items tend to get heavy they push it down I like to do a lot of tissue paper because in that way as it presses down it still holds up a little bit I did my favorite print on top but I used all 10 pieces in here just to give it that fluff what I did I have three of them and I just used this headband there's four of them here so I got one two and three I'm just putting them all together and I'm using the headband to kind of hold them together I don't know how I did it before because it was holding on all good and then I got it off okay I'm just trying to keep them so that they're just all nicely contained but I might take them apart too because it depends kind of on how they fit in here. And as you saw, I attached the socks to the front. I figure why not use that space? You saw me use the poster board and that's just utilizing the vertical space that I wouldn't have if I didn't have that because so many of these things are just little and they're going to fall in. And so I wanted to lift it up a little bit so that we can continue to see all the little things. So that was kind of my goal with that. And yeah, I'm going to keep getting the stuff in here. up with I might move a few things around just a little bit use a little bit more tape where it's needed to keep things excuse me from not moving I put this last bib kind of in the back I feel like it's just really big and it takes up a lot of space and so I put it there like I said I'm probably gonna tape a few things here and there just to get them to stay 
but that's the way Daisy's gift is going to be. This I will just probably either, I might just go get a gift bag and put these in a gift bag to go along with it. And like I said, I have the diapers and wipes here oops, as well. So this is Daisy's gift. Like I said, I grew out of the small basket and I apparently even grew out of the big basket. But shopping for babies is probably one of my favorite things. So we got that one all put together. All right, guys, I am here with my nephew Eli's gift. This one has been so fun for me. I've enjoyed shopping for all the Toy Story stuff. I just have to note, I'm putting this together today, but I'm still waiting for Sporky, Frugal J, the most amazing YouTuber, follow her, I'll have her linked down below, is sending Sporky to me one of these little figurines because I was never able to find him and I think that you need Sporky, it completes the set. So that's on the way, I'll leave a spot for it. I started off with this to be my basket to put everything in, but I most definitely grew out of this. So I ended up picking up this basket instead. I think it'll hold it all a little bit better. And so let's get started putting this one together. So I'm starting with my base of tissue paper. That way I have something to set everything on top of as I build this up. I'm going to start with kind of the tallest and heaviest items in the back. watched my haul you saw that this was not working I did manage to get it all put back together so we are all good with the pen so let's get that put in there all put together. I left a spot right here in the middle for Sporky when he arrives so I can add him in. I'm going to just use some of those ring pops in the back. They help keep the stuff lifted. If you saw, I taped some of this just kind of together to keep it all like a steady back. I use both of these for the sides because that way it just makes it look full and I mean, wow. What Toy Story fan wouldn't want this basket? I didn't count all the items I have. Maybe I'll toss that in to the end or down in the description box. But, I mean, the cost of this is not much when you compare, like, just going and picking up one Toy Story toy, like, at the toy store, at Target, at Walmart, or anything. And this is just a whole basket of fun. So, there's this one. I will wait until I have Sporky to get a completed picture of it to post on my Instagram. So don't forget to check out my Instagram to see all the completed baskets. And thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.